Did you know that vultures are nature's very own cleanup crew? As specialized scavengers, they provide a valuable service by quickly removing dead carcasses from the environment and digesting pathogens, thereby likely reducing the transmission of diseases. In addition, as sentinels of the sky, they alert park rangers and law enforcement to potential poaching locations. However, vulture populations are in grave decline, making them the most endangered group of birds in the world. Major threats to vultures include poisoning, which accounts for 61% of vulture death, belief-based use contributing to 29% of vulture mortalities, electrocutions and collisions accounting for 9% and 1% due to other causes. Threats differ by region. In Southern Africa, poisoning and belief-based use are the main threats. In East Africa, poisoning, electrocution, and collision with energy infrastructure are the major threats, while in West Africa, Belief-based use is the primary threat. In North Africa, threats include unintentional poisoning, electrocutions and collisions, habitat degradation, and decline of food availability. To tackle these challenges and help save Africa's vultures, BirdLife is implementing a 10-year strategy with key actions across the continent. In several countries in East and Southern Africa, including Botswana, Kenya, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, we are implementing a rapid poison response mechanism to ensure quick, coordinated, and effective response to vulture poisoning incidents in order to reduce vulture mortality. Government ranges and other key stakeholders at community level are also being trained on how to implement the rapid poison response mechanism through detecting, registering, collecting evidence, and managing vulture poisoning incidents. In Southern Africa, more than 500,000 hectares of vulture safe zones have been established in strategic locations. Vulture safe zones are geographical areas in which targeted conservation measures are undertaken to address key threats facing vultures. In West and Southern Africa, specifically Nigeria and Zimbabwe, we are engaging key stakeholders to understand the demand and avenues of trade, as well as working to promote the use of plant-based alternatives to vulture body parts. In North Africa, a number of interventions are being carried out to save vultures. For instance, in Morocco, a special center has been set up to rehabilitate and rewild vultures. And in Egypt, a complete legislative review of pesticides and veterinary medicines has been completed alongside awareness-raising initiatives. In addition to these important actions on the ground, BirdLife is working to influence policy and legislation to support vulture conservation across the continent. In 2019, Zimbabwe became the first African country to develop a national vulture action plan. Nigeria is also working on a similar plan. Through these efforts by our partners and vulture conservation stakeholders across the continent, we hope to turn the tide for vultures in Africa. And we believe that by 2029, there will be a reduction in illegal trade in vultures in hotspot areas with a shift in attitudes to belief-based use, as well as an overall decrease in vulture mortalities from poisoning and electrocution. But to get there, we need everyone's support. Join us on this journey and help vultures soar again.